Hello, we just got off a 17 hour flight. Shushan looks extremely tired. So we are in Germany because we've been sent here for an assignment. We are looking into how Germany cares for its elderly as they age, its long-term care policies. Why Germany? Its population is the world's fourth oldest. One in five persons is over the age of 65. But most seem to be well supported in the community <laughs> and are able to afford services ranging from daycare at centres like these <laughs> to rehabilitation <laughs> to home care. In fact, Germany is one of few countries in the world with a dedicated insurance system for long-term care which means seniors should not have to worry about services they'll need in old age. We'll be travelling to four towns over the next two weeks. And Arnsberg, the town we're heading to, is just one of them. With beautiful scenery and medieval architecture, the town of Arnsberg is not a bad place to retire to. Some 80,000 residents live here, which is about the same as the population of Bukit Timah in Singapore, or slightly smaller than Lantau Islands in Hong Kong. 1 in 11 seniors have dementia, and by 2030, nearly a third of residents will be over 65. But this is a town that has rallied together to meet the challenges of rapid ageing. This place, Café Zailos, is one such initiative. It's situated in a youth centre, but every Tuesday, these are the people you're finding here. Yeah. The gangster boss from Zeitlos, from Cafe Zeitlos aus Arnsberg. The gangster boss, yeah, they're seeing ya ganz gruselig aus. Ich kann ihn gleich eine. People who are threatened by isolation, loneliness in older age, that they are free and welcome to go there, learn new things and new people and stay part of this society. It initially started as a cafe for people with dementia, but it also serves their caregivers. This is Mr. Walter Rupert. He's 98 years old, but doesn't seem like it. Maybe I'm, I'm so lucky to live two years more than, than I'm 100 years old. Mr. Rupert started visiting Café Zeitlos while he was caring for his wife who had dementia. In more than 15 years, she was um, living with dementia and needing long-term care. Mr. Rupert insisted on bathing and feeding his wife and refused outside care. But he was getting socially isolated. It's very hot. He found his way to Café Zeitlos. This was a great relief for him to leave the house and do something for himself. Yes, of course. <laughs> Why not? People have told Mr. Rupert to stop driving. He hasn't listened. You can come with me. Okay. As he drove us back to his home, we noticed he was alert and aware of his surroundings. Are they following us? That's another car between. Okay, so we go slowly then. Mr. Rupert now lives alone since his wife died three months ago. A former engineer, he wanted to show us how he had modified his home for his wife. Now, please enter. He installed this electric shower chair. This stair lift. Sit down. Okay. Wow. Okay. Then... Now, the speed is now uh, 14 centimeters. 14 centimeters per second. Yeah, okay. Just to think that one day I may have to. We rely yeah. on devices like these two to get up and down the stairs, which you just take for granted, I guess. These are also in preparation for the day when he himself may not be so mobile, something he hopes to put off for as long as possible by cycling, exercising, and packing every day with activities. 
hundred times. Wow. These also help keep dementia at bay. <laughs> so long as I can, I stay here. Ja, weil ich habe mich so gewöhnt, diesen schönen Ausblick und meinen Garten. Und mit dem Auto kann ich auch noch rumfahren. Und dann das Begräbnis. Dass ich dort vielleicht die letzten Tage. But what about seniors with dementia who need more help with day to day living? For the past 10 years, Ansburg has been building itself up as a dementia-friendly community, much like Bishan or Chongpang back in Singapore. There is a whole department in their local government to ensure that individuals with dementia get the services they need. We heard their approach is award-winning and a model for other European countries. Ansburg is known for the engagement of the city. We want to take responsibility for people with dementia. While many other cities said the demographic change, aging society, is not our current issue. A lot is possible when you have some sort of coordination uh, agency, like our department, which uses and, and seeks for alliances at the local level. Martin introduced us to one such alliance named El Hadri, a care service for persons with dementia living at home. We met Manuela, a caregiver with El Hadri. She has been visiting Mrs. Renate Muller two to three times a week for the past two years. She is um, dementkrank, also not so fortgeschritten. Also, man kann sich sehr gut mit ihr unterhalten. Sie weiß, also wie die Chefin auch gesagt hat, sie weiß wer ich. 83-year-old Mrs. Muller has chosen to stay alone in her own home, visited on occasion by her two children. Die Kinder sind berufstätig, die haben alle auch keine Zeit mehr, weil die Arbeit auch immer viel von jemandem abverlangt. Und so füllen wir immer so ein bisschen die Lücken, weil sie sagen, alles ist schöner als wir im Heim. One study estimates that in Germany, roughly one in three persons with dementia live alone. Professional caregivers like Manuela don't just help clients with housework, they also bring them out and do exercises to train the brain and boost memory. Manuela also gets Mrs. Muller to do chores with her. This helps dementia patients retain a sense of independence. Aber man lässt sie einfach so wie sie ist. Man versucht keine Veränderung. Und solange man den Menschen das Gefühl gibt, dass es alles noch so wie es ist, schreitet die Krankheit auch nicht so weit hervor. Wenn ich agiere, ich glaube, Frau Müller ist ganz glücklich, dass sie noch zu Hause. Mrs. Muller doesn't pay a cent out of her pocket for all these. El Hadri's services can be paid for using one's long-term care insurance. Seniors like Mrs. Muller are why former nurse Amal El Hadri set up the service seven years ago. Weil viele einfach auch sich aufgegeben haben und wenn wir kommen, um ihnen zu zeigen, dass sie was Besonderes sind, dass es was Schönes ist und dass es mit ihnen Spaß macht, dann fangen die Menschen auch an, wieder aufzublühen. Speaking of having fun, <laughs> these seniors of St. Anna's home are having plenty of it. <laughs> Besides paid services like El Hadri, many volunteer services have sprung up in Ansburg to engage the elderly. This clinic clowns, for example, believe that laughter helps these nursing home residents feel less lonely. In erster Linie gehen wir auf die Bewohner mit Demenz zu, die man ohne die rote Nase wo, wo, nee, wo es ohne die rote Nase viel länger dauert, diesen Zugang äh, ähm, zu bekommen. Das ist doch schön, oder? This traditional song is helping residents with dementia. They may not remember their addresses or their children's names, but the familiar verses trigger a memory. Also wir hatten schon wunderschöne Momente mit den Demenzkranken, weil sie wochenlang schon kein Wort mehr gesprochen hat. Sie wollte vorher uns auch etwas mitteilen und es kam aber nur Geröll, nur Laute von ihr. Und zum Schluss sagte sie, schön, und da geht einem so das Herz auf und dafür weiß ich, was ich mache. Also aber was lustig war, das war, wo hier die Logopädin war. Ja, das war wunderschön. Ja. Das ja. War total <lacht> ich mache sie einfach. 
Wenn das gut ist, weiß ich jetzt nicht, aber ich mach's ja einfach. Das ist ein anderer. Mich macht <lacht> If there's one main takeaway that we have from visiting this town, is the openness that different generations have towards seniors with or without dementia. We are waiting with these old folks to witness this really exciting traditional festival in Germany. I think they're just marching down right now. As the town celebrated Skutzenfest, a traditional marksman's festival, it was nice to see the marksmen going out of their way to pass by Serena's nursing home, simply because they wanted to involve the old folks. Oh, 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 oh,